Hey Rainbows, and welcome to another episode of the Royal Family. We have a lot of fun stuff planned in this episode. So the first thing we're gonna do is start at the Windenburg Palace so we can talk about the intro and talk about some other things as well with the Windenburg Royal Family and Caspian and his mother Nia. And then we're going to go to Mackay and Lily's wedding. So they're gonna be getting married. So we'll get to see that. And then Gabriel is gonna be aging up to a young adult and there will be a birthday party at the Oasis Springs Palace. And then Han and Araminta are gonna be having their baby. And I'm so excited for that. Oh my god. So if you're excited for this episode, make sure you hit that like button. So again, we are starting at the Windenburg Palace. Currently, Nia and Amira, they are in a meeting. They are upstairs in the office. When Caspian is not at school, he has to come here because his mother's working. So as you guys can see, Caspian's over here. He doesn't want to be here. He never really wants to be here. And then Alice May and Cedric, they are playing Don't Wake the Llama together. So I'll talk about the intro real quick and just clarify a few things if it wasn't clear. Basically, Nia had asked to speak speak to Amira and Jabari after work one day. And this is because there was a story leaked about Nia and her, her ex-husband and Caspian's father, Maleko. And basically what had happened was Maleko has become more well-known in Sulani recently. And he's one of the owners at a successful talent agency in Sulani. And one of his competitors wanted to dig up some dirt on him. And they found out about his affairs when he was married to Nia. And since Nia used to work at the Sulani palace, Queen Leilana killed the story. So only like a few people saw Basically, she like paid off the company that made the story because Nia and Lilana were pretty close when she used to work there. So she basically did it as a favor to Nia. And then Nia just wanted to come clean to Jabari and Amira. She didn't do anything wrong, but it was somewhat of a scandal and she didn't want to hide anything from Amira and Jabari. She also wanted to tell them. So for some reason, if they did find out, then they would know that Caspian doesn't know. And I think like Jabari and Amira, they feel really bad for Caspian. Of course they feel bad for Nia too, but just just because they have heard and they know that Caspian has not wanted to ever do anything with the kids. But I think Amira had already known that he was probably going through some things. And Amira, she went through things as a teenager and acted out. So if anything, she understood that. But now they know the full story. I think Jabari feels really bad for Caspian too, because Jabari was pretty close with his dad growing up, but his dad also was pretty busy and he didn't get to see him all that often. So I think Jabari feels really bad and he understands too. Alice May feels bad. She was sort of eavesdropping. She should not have been. And she's always been really friendly towards Caspian. And I think within the past few years, since she had first met him anyway, she kind of started to give up, like stopped asking him to hang out with her and her friends. But now she knows and she feels bad. And I think she wants to help him as much as she can. So I feel like this meeting with Nia and Amira has just started. So Caspian was told to go in here. So he's just waiting for his mother. Alice May was already playing a game with Cedric. It looks like they've stopped though. But maybe she saw Caspian come in here. So I think I'm going to go have her talk to him and invite him to play with her and Cedric. He's feeling angry. I'm gonna have her try to calm him down and try to see if she can invite him over. Cedric is so cute. This is Cedric. I don't remember if we had, we had saw him after he aged up into a child, but I don't think we've seen him since then. So yeah, this is Cedric. He's just chilling. I don't know. Oh, he's feeling embarrassed because he lost a game of Don't Wake the Llama to his sister. I'm going to have him practice, I guess, while Alice May is going to talk to Caspian. Is this going well at all? Oh, it's already an unpleasant conversation. Oh no. I think with Caspian, he's just like, he doesn't want to be here. He doesn't want to live in Windenburg. He wants to live in Sulani with his father. He'd kind of been back and forth for the past few years, but it's just with his father's job. He works long hours, especially during the day. He just would not have been able to be around much to take care of Caspian. And he wouldn't have been able to take Caspian to work. So that's why Caspian moved in with Nia. Okay, so Alice May's still trying to talk to him. He does not seem like he wants to talk at all. He just doesn't want to be there. He's in such a bad mood. He's not being receptive towards anything really. Although Alice May's empathy just went up. So that's kind of cool. Yeah, he doesn't seem to be very receptive right now of Alice May. She's trying so hard. She's just so friendly. She's so outgoing. She really talked to anyone. I mean, like her favorite thing about royal life is like all the events and stuff because she gets to talk to a ton of people. She can't wait till she's a little bit older to when she can like finally make her first speech and all that stuff. She is kind of opposite of Cedric. I feel like Cedric's a little bit more shy, except her and Cedric are really close. She's very protective over Cedric. He's, so, oh my God, he's so cute. But yeah, Cedric's a little bit more on the shy side. I think once he gets to know people though, he really likes to talk to them. But at, like, it's just when he first meets them, he's not as open to talking to them. But he has joined the kids club now too. So right now in the kids club, we've got Alice May, 
Mei, Kaleo, Molly Grace, Jessica, Nani, and Cedric. Molly Grace is the next one to age up. However, I didn't realize how much longer she does have to age up because she still has a good amount of time. Like it's supposed to be Genevieve and Kimmy that are aging up before she does, but she's next to age up. And then I believe it's Jessica and Nani and then Kaleo and Alice May. But Molly Grace probably won't age up for a few more episodes, probably after Kimmy and Genevieve age up and then I'll have her age up. Oh, he's not angry anymore. He's just fine. Oh, also I just have them in the household just because they would have kept leaving if I didn't have them in the household. So they don't live here. They live in the Winnenberg in the city. Okay. So I feel like he's kind of letting up a little bit. I think that Alice May, I don't know. Maybe he was just like, all right, she's not going to stop. But yeah, maybe Alice May was like, I know that you're not from here, but you are always welcome to like hang out with me and my friends. So I don't know. Maybe Caspian was just finally like, okay, fine. I might as well just, I don't know, not be super angry about it. He's not as angry about it anymore. All right, let's see if he will play Don't Wake the Llama with Cedric and Alice May play with Caspian and Cedric. Okay, yay! He decided to go play with them reluctantly, but you know, he did it anyway, so that's fine. He was like, okay, fine. All right, cool. Yeah, but uh, Mira and Nia, they're just up here. They're having their little meeting. Jabari's on the computer. He's working on his own stuff. So yeah, I thought it was nice for you guys to get some backstory about Caspian because, I mean, he wasn't introduced until like two episodes ago. We didn't really get to see him in the last episode. So now you guys know a little bit more about him. But yeah, okay, so we have a lot of other stuff to get to in this episode. So we're going to go move on to Makai and Lily and their wedding. Okay, so we are now at Makai and Lily's wedding. So this is actually the venue that Leilana and Dean got married at. I think all the royal weddings of Sulani, at least like for the heirs, they're going to be taking place at the either Mermaid Palace or the main palace. But so this is a very small wedding. This is just family and it's just the Sulani family. Makai and Lily didn't want to do anything big. They got engaged. It's been like a few months since the last episode. I think they're probably going to be trying for a baby right after this too. I don't know if I will do that in the video, but we don't do it in the video. We'll at least do that on the stream. So the guests are pretty much arriving. This is Lily. This is her wedding dress. I thought it was really cute and beachy. And then this is Makai. This is his outfit. He looks so cute. So basically who we have here. Ooh, I don't know how I feel about his outfit. Can I change that? This is their cousin. This is Keikoa. I don't know if you remember him, but we have Keikoa and Leah which is Leilana and Makai's cousins. All right, I don't think I had ever picked any of his outfits, but that's the best we're gonna get, so that's fine. Um, we have, of course, his brother Kona here. We have Makana. They didn't even really let them invite Bellatrix or Kimmy because they wanted it to be such a small wedding with like just family. Toddlers weren't allowed here either, just kids. And then Dean is here and Leilana should be here somewhere too. I'm not exactly sure where she is. It says she's in the group conversation, so she's gotta be here somewhere. But all right, I think we're gonna go ahead and start the wedding. So get married to Lily. Jessica, of course, is here. She was freaking out about the wedding. She's so excited. Of course, Lily's not being turned into a mermaid. That's only a thing for the heir of Sulani, whoever they get married to. But oh my God, okay, they're gonna get married. I'm so excited. I am especially excited for their kids. They're gonna have such good looking kids. But okay, yay, they're getting married now. I'm so happy for Makai. I think that he had maybe mentioned to Amira, like Amira knew that he was getting married, but he had told Amira like it's really just for family. Family. I think she's fine with it, honestly. I think she did send them a wedding gift. She's happy for him. When Jessica loves Lily, and that is the most important thing to Makai is that Lily and Jessica love each other. I think that Lily is officially going to adopt Jessica too. So probably right after the wedding, she's gonna do that. But okay, yay, they're exchanging rings now. And they are officially married too. Oh my God, they're so cute. I love this and I love the beach set up. This is just gorgeous. All right, so they're officially married. We are going to have them call people to the meal. We're going to have them cut the cake. Oh my God. Oh, they already changed into their bathing suits and stuff. That's fine. All right, here's the wedding cake. So let's cut wedding cake with Makai and Lily. I'm so excited. I, I'm sure Jessica is just like so beyond happy right now. She's excited for siblings. She will be getting them soon. All right, they're cutting the cake. He's beating out the cake. I love this animation. It's just too cute. There we go. Yay. Awesome. Okay, that was her little wedding. It was so sweet. She looks so pretty. I love this dress on her. It looks gorgeous. But okay, cool. So that was her wedding. We're not going to go to the Oasis Springs Palace. Oh, yeah. We have Lady Marjorie here, too, because she is married to Lady Leah, who's over here. So Marjorie is Queen Corinne of Willow Creek's sister, and she is Cornelius's and all the other Willow Creek kids, their aunt as well. So she's here, too. But yeah, okay. All right, we're going to go ahead to the Oasis Springs Palace. All right, we are now here for Gabriel's birthday party. He's going to be 
be turning into a young adult. So technically in the series, I believe Kimmy was born first, but not by much. But for story purposes, I'm just gonna have Gabriel have his birthday first. So I don't think Gabriel's gonna be proposing here, but I definitely think Gabriel wants to propose soon. So that might possibly happen in the next episode. He might be proposing to Arya. I keep forgetting that he's still in the household here. He doesn't live here. He lives with his parents. I think his parents are here too. Who do we have out here? Oh, Princess Bellatrix is here. Yay, she was able to make it. So Bellatrix is here. She was talking out here with Kimmy. They're dating twins. So I'm pretty sure they're pretty close. I don't know where she's going. Where are you going, Bellatrix? The heck? All right, just stand by the wall, that's fine. But we do have Frederick here, and then we also have Prince Takashi. We have a lot of people here. I'm also gonna be playing from some of the different characters during this event, so that way we can see other people, because we didn't really get to talk about that many different people in the last episode, and we were just here in the last episode, so I wanna be able to focus on the others as well. We do have Sir Thomas Stratton here. He's here because Lady Ariana is here. Ariana, I think, will age up in a couple more episodes, so we'll see her age up soon. But yeah, the only people who are here that wasn't here in the last episode, I believe, is Bellatrix and Sir Thomas. And oh, and Lordy J is here. Their cousin's here too. And then we do have Naya here and Gabriel's parents. This is his mother, Countess Ari. And this is his father, Earl Jack. So they're both here for his birthday. They probably offered to have the birthday party at their house, but Ari offered to have it here at the palace. So they were grateful for that. And then I do also, so this is Prince Adric. I'm gonna add him so we can have him talk to Desta, wherever she is. She's here again. I know I said we'll probably have them go on an official date, but I think this, like he asked her to come here as his official date. Where is she? I just saw her. All right, here she is. So here's Desta. So there's already a little bit of a romantic relationship. I think they just haven't been able to see each other that much. So I feel like that's why the relationship has been going pretty slow, but I think they've been talking for months. But he asked her to come here as his official date. And she also got to come and see Bellatrix too, because she's friends with Bellatrix. But yeah, they're super cute. She's being relocated to Sulani as well with Bellatrix. Bellatrix, so that's somewhat closer to Adric. Not by much, but at least they're able to see each other more. And it's a suggestive conversation too. I'm gonna have them go sit maybe a little bit more in private. Why don't we just go over here in the corner, sit and chat. All right, so they're sitting here and talking a little bit more. So let's have them flirt. I think he is really enjoying hanging out with her. They've gotten to see each other a few times. They of course got to see each other a few months ago at Arya's birthday party. Oh yeah, okay, so it's a suggestive conversation. They already have a really high friendship and a pretty high romantic relationship. Oh no, wait, is it not going well? Wait, crap. Oh no, okay, they're doing okay. It's still a suggestive conversation. I'm going to, oh, they can have their first kiss. Yeah, let's have them have their first kiss. Okay, but yeah, Desta's almost a little bit similar to Bellatrix. She's very sassy, she's very confident as well. Oh God, they're having their first kiss. Oh, this is so cute. They're so cute. I love her little dimples, they're adorable. I think they just have so much fun together. They've been talking for a really long time. So I think Adric wants to officially ask her to be his girlfriend. So he's gonna go ahead and do that. Okay, yay, yay, she said yes, <gasps> okay. So Adric and Desta are officially dating. Yay. All right. And then who else do we have here? We have Cornboy. And we also have Ellis here. So with Ellis, he's talking to Arya and Kimmy. So it has been a few months since last episode. As you guys saw, Ellis and Arya got to talking and they got along really well. They've been to a few other parties since the last episode. And I just feel like Ellis, because he has been having a hard time getting comfortable at the parties. But I feel like Arya has has just been really welcoming to him, has made him feel a lot more comfortable at the parties. She always goes out of her way to talk to him and ask him how he is. And it just made him feel a lot more comfortable, a lot more confident around the royals. And as I had also mentioned, Cornelius, he and Arya and Gabriel, they never really made up or anything since they were kids and Gabriel and Cornelius got in the fight because of something he said about Arya. But I think that Alice has told Cornelius that he has been feeling a lot more comfortable at the parties lately because of Arya. And I feel like at first, maybe Cornelius was like, well, I don't like them. Like, I don't like Gabriel and I don't like Arya. But then I think he realized that's all he wanted was for Ellis to feel more comfortable there and just feel more comfortable with royal life since they are planning on spending the rest of their lives together. So I think he wants to like thank Arya and thank Gabriel. So I think I'm gonna have him talk to them. So I think Gabriel has been talking to Ellis a lot more too. All right, so Cornelius is talking to Arya and Gabriel. He just pulled them aside and just 
told Ari, mo mostly Aria, just like, thank you for making Ellis feel more welcome. Like he hasn't felt that comfortable at the parties and just the past few months, he's been happier to go to them because Aria has been so welcoming to him and has been talking to him a lot more there. And I think like this for Aria and Gabriel just shows how much Cornelius has grown, how much happier he is. I think Gabriel, I don't know, him and Cornelius, they haven't got along for so long. So I think he's still like, okay, like what's going on here? But I think this does mean a lot to both of them. Them, and maybe Arya is like, hey, maybe we should just call a truce. I mean, they're both going to be the leaders of two different kingdoms when they are older. So I think they're gonna be okay. Maybe they can all hang out and go on a double date too one day. I think that would actually be really cute. Oh no, Aisha's drunk. She's feeling very playful. She's drunk. Oh no, Kimmy's drunk too. Okay, is Arya drunk? Uh, kind of. Oh no, she's just not drunk, but you know, she's okay, feeling friendly, that's fine. All right, but we should have Gabriel blow out the candles because that is the point of this party. So I'm gonna have Gabriel blow out the candles. He's going to age up into a young adult. Yay, okay, he's aging up now. So he is romantic and he's hot-headed too. I wonder, okay, so he's also jealous. He's also active and he's compassionate. I think he already got the compassionate trait though. Should I give him the jealous one now? I do know that she now to have him have more than three traits. So I'll take care of that later. He does also have good manners. And I feel like he could also be family oriented. Um, I'm just going to give him the jealous trait for now. And then I'll add the other ones a little bit later. But yay, he has aged up into a young adult. We're going to call people to the meal. I'm going to have Arya give him a little birthday kiss too. They're really sweet. They're really cute. Oh, his mother just went like through the wall behind them. But yeah, they're really sweet. Oh my God, there's they're so cute. He's so in love with her. He's been in love with her since he was a kid too. And honestly, I do feel like they've both grown a lot. I feel like Gabriel especially has grown a lot. He's become the more responsible one in the relationship. Although he still can't resist Arya sometimes. But I think he's starting to become like her voice of reason. So I think that's really good. And then we have people dancing. Oh no, Aisha and Rosalind are arguing. You're not even looking at her. You're like yelling behind her. What's going on here? Oh no, okay, well. Oh, and their empathy's going down. I mean, they've really never gotten along growing up. And then of course there was that whole thing with Maxwell and Rosalind, but that was years ago. So I doubt that's what they're arguing about right now. Honestly, it was probably something along the lines of Aisha just vibing and doing her thing. Maybe Rosalind like muttered something up under her breath and then Aisha, she's had a few drinks. Maybe she was just like, what did you say? And just got a little bit angry. Um, Maybe I should have someone break this up. Oh, you know what, Kimmy's right here. Kimmy break this up. Can you do that? I don't know, just start talking to them nicely. I don't know if there's actually anything you can do about it. I wish there was an interaction where you could break up a fight. Let's pretend she is. Just say like, okay guys, this is not the time nor the place. Stop it, please. She's dancing. She's like, come on, let's go dance. She's like trying to distract them. Thomas is just dancing. Where's Ariana? We need her to be here too. Where is she? Okay, there she is. All right, cool. Yeah, they're really cute. Oh, I'm spoiling her a kiss. They're really cute. Yeah, I'm sure that when she officially ages up, then he will be proposing to her as well. So that will be a lot of fun. Looks like Arya is talking to Adric here. I wonder if just like Gabriel, oh, Gabriel. <laughs> He is, he's coming over to talk to Arya. I, I, I don't think he knows that Adric and Nesta are together, but I don't know, maybe Adric just told Arya that, but I don't know, I feel like he's coming over because he was getting just like a little bit jealous. Ellis is just doing push-ups in the middle of the floor here. That's fine. Okay, well, all right. I think we're gonna end this birthday party here and we're going to go see Haunted Hermitage, baby. Let's go, I'm so excited. All right, we're at the Glimmerbrook Palace. I'm just waiting for Araminta to have her baby. She should be having it pretty soon. She's just, she's dancing. She's so cute, look at her, I love her. Her and Han are gonna be having a baby. I'm so excited. You know what, I think Han would probably wanna be by her side right now though. So I'm gonna have him go talk to her, go join her. So Akio and Azumi did have their baby. So they had a baby boy and his name is Kaido. So we'll definitely go meet the baby when, probably when the baby turns into a toddler or something. They were there when Azumi was giving birth to help Akio calm down because he was freaking out a little bit. I think they'll probably try to be having another baby too. But yeah, they were really cute. Akio was really happy. Okay guys, Araminta is in labor. Oh my God, I'm so excited. Okay, oh my gosh, Han's freaking out. Han's freaking, wait, hold on, I just want to see this because it's really 
really cute. Look at him. Oh, poor thing. Okay. Um, yeah, let's go have the baby. Oh no. Okay. Yeah, she's uncomfortable. Let's go have the baby at the hospital. I'm so excited. Um, but we'll just have them go. I don't really like seeing the hospital. Oh my God. Look at Han running. <laughs> um, but I don't really like seeing the hospital animation when they're having a baby because it's like a claw thing trying to deliver the baby. And then sometimes they'll pull your heart out. Sometimes they'll like spray things everywhere. I don't know. It's weird. Oh my gosh. Han is probably just doing everything for her right now. Like trying to carry her there. And she's like, no, no, don't pick me up, please. Okay, guys. <gasps> okay. So Han and Arminta, they had a baby girl. I'm so excited. Okay. So the baby name I have picked out is Zayori. So it's princess and it'll actually fit, which is great. Z-A-O-R-I, Princess Zayori. I think they're gonna nickname her Z for short. Oh my gosh. All right, so the baby should be in the bassinet. Yes, there she is. <gasps> Talk to her. Han, to, well, Han, just come up here. Okay, Um, let's have her cuddle her. And then Han too. I'm gonna have Han pick up the baby. I'm so excited. Now, I have not had a Sim have this, and you can't show this, but I do have custom content, but I can't show this while she's an infant right now. But Zayori, so she was born with heterochromia, so that means she's got two different color eyes. So one of her eyes is brown, and the other one is green. And you guys are gonna see that when she turns into a toddler. I can't do it right now with custom content on the infant because the babies are just objects in the Sims, but you guys will see it when she's a toddler. So yeah, okay, Han, come cuddle your baby. He's focused right now. Oh no, no, that's that's Mei Lin. Oh, but Mei Lin is a grandmother. This is her first grandchild. All right, but Han is cuddling his daughter now for the first time. He's a father. Oh my God, they're so cute. I can't wait to take pictures of them with the baby. But okay, I think this is a good place to end the episode. I'm so excited for them to be parents. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Let me know what you think of Han and Araminta being parents and their new baby. Let me know what you think of Makai and Lily and their wedding and then Arya and Gabriel at Gabriel's birthday party and then also Cornelius and Arya and Gabriel all calling a truce. Let me know what you think of Caspian and his backstory. If you enjoyed this, make sure you hit that like button. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and turn on your notifications and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!